Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at this next question here. That's a very good question on mixtures and uh, allegations. Okay. This question says that uh, in order to beat the competition, a local grocer uh, printed and distributed pamphlets advertising that rice commonly sold at rupees forty per kg would be sold at rupees thirty five per kg, and rice commonly sold at rupees twenty two per kg would be sold at rupees twenty per kg. Correct. So in order to sell his very uh, varieties at this special discounted price and still make profits, the grocer mixes a third uh, inferior variety of rice in these discounted varieties. Right? That's a pretty pretty general case we can think. <laughs> so for both types of rice, the ratio in which the discounted variety is being adulterated, that means uh, the quality is uh, inferior inferiorated actually. Okay, is the same. So it says that for both types of rice, the ratio in which uh, the discounted variety is being adulterated is same. So we'll be focus on this point here, right? That's why attacking point. What is the commonly sold price of the inferior variety if the grocer still makes the same profit as earlier? Fine. Now, so okay, so let's be let me we will assume some variables because we don't have anything here, right? So how many kgs and all? Okay. So let's assume that grocer sell originally one kg of uh, one kg. Of each type of rice, so let's say we assume that he ordinarily says each one kg of each type of rice. Okay, so now he's adulterating the rice in such a way that he uses let's say y kg. Okay, so he uses y kg of the original variety, and hence uh, I can say that one minus y kg will be of adulterated type. Correct. So what 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 is happening here? So one kg of rice of each type in that y kg is. Uh, he is using of original call original part okay of original variety and 1 minus y kg i'll say of adulterated part right okay fine now uh the no we don't know the normal price right so basically the normal price of y kg y kg okay so normal price of y kg is how much is rupees 40 okay or it could be rupees 22 also we don't know right The rupees forty or rupees twenty two, okay, fine. And the normal rice price of one minus y kg of rice, okay. So one minus y kg, I'll assume to be rupees p, correct. So now after mixing, and we also know that after mixing, right? So after mixing, it is sold at. It is sold at. Ah, uh, rupees thirty five or rupees twenty. If it is forty four variant, it is sold at rupees thirty five. Okay, or if it is twenty two variant, it is sold at rupees twenty. That's the question here. Fine. Okay. So now, ah, uh, I'll just see. I'll take the average weight here. So I can just say that the average price is thirty five rupees. So average price is thirty five rupees. Ah, uh, for ah uh, y kg of a uh, price. That means forty rupees is the price of y kg. So forty into y total. I am using weighted average here. Okay. So at rupees forty per kg, y kg is forty. Y is the price plus uh, at rupees at one minus y kg rupees p uh, rupees p. Okay. So one minus k uh, y kg of rice at rupees p should be p into one minus y. Okay. And uh, the total weight here is one kg, right? So I can write y plus one minus y. But it won't make any impact. It is actually one only, right? It is actually one. So from here, I'll get an equation between p and uh, an equation between p and y. Okay, so I can write right here. So forty y uh, plus p uh, minus p y upon one is a value. So I can just write my first equation as forty uh, y uh, plus p into one minus y equal to thirty five. That would be my equation number one. Let's move to equation two here. Okay. Now I can also write that similarly. The my second equation would be if the price is thir twenty. So if the price is twenty, so in that case twenty will be equal to I can say twenty uh, two rupees y kg at twenty two plus one minus y kg at p. Okay, and then upon again y plus one minus y will be equal to one. Okay, so if I if I solve this part here. Uh, Twenty is yes, fine. So p into one minus y. So I'll be getting here twenty uh, two y plus uh, p into 
1 minus y equal to 20. Correct. That's what we're getting here. Okay. Do not get confused actually. I am writing two y's in two different styles. Okay. So just it is all y only. It is all y. This y and this y is are same. Okay. So fine. This is my equation number two here. Okay. So I can solve this equation one and equation two, guys. So okay, so I'll get the value of p here. So that's that's simple, right? So I'll solve for one and two, I'll get y and then I'll get the value of p. Okay. So let's solve it. I I can just subtract these two equations. So I think this will get cancelled. So 18 y will be equal to 15 therefore y will be equal to 5 by 6 okay now once y is equal to 5 by 6 I can put this all in equation 1 let's say so my equation 1 will become what it will be uh, 40 I think it will become just 40 and y is 5 by 6 okay so 40 into 5 by 6 plus p into 1 minus 5 by 6 is equal to 35 okay if you solve here you get the value of p as 10 so what is the answer guys so p is the uh, that adulterated price uh, that inferior quality price i assume to be p and uh, that is what is my answer so answer would be 10 per kg that's the answer for this question okay so good question typical cat level question they ask such equations uh, uh, that normal questions a bit uh, language tricky okay you make a couple of equations you get the solutions okay. so you can see a very a general trendy question in cat these days okay so I hope you understood it.